Hey guys, so I'm in my backyard and I'm making charcoal so I can uh, culture some more temperate springtails. Basically, I took a paint can, empty paint can, you know, you buy them empty, and I uh, burned it to get all the plastic coating and stuff off. Then I punched a hole in it and I put some hardwood in it, hardwood chunks. And I'm burning a fire around it. And one way you know it's turning into charcoal is if it, <laughs> the gas, the wood gas coming out lights on fire like that. Because wood gas is very flammable. Um, I've actually seen TV shows where they took a old like truck with a carburetor and made it run on wood gas. So essentially making a, a truck run on wood fire so uh yeah it's making charcoal when it's done i'll show you guys how i set up my colonies my uh the two seeded colonies and my original colony are doing really well um my mantis has grown so i just made her a new enclosure that's stainless steel mesh and then on the outside there's regular mesh so she can cling to it she just molted yesterday and uh the only reason i'm using stuff from outside is because she's a uh, chinese mantis that I, you know, one of the ones I hatched. So I don't worry about using stuff from outside. I feed her wild insects and stuff. I mean, she's not a crazy, expensive, fancy morph mantis. But anyway, that's it for now. Oh, a grasshopper just crawled into that crack right there and is probably going to die because there's fire and you're an idiot. Um, yeah, I'll get an uh, update on you for, uh, you know, ants and snakes and spiders and all that later. I just wanted to show you guys this because I thought it was pretty cool. Out. Oh. Okay. Alright, hey guys. So, I'm going to seed some more of those uh, colonies I was telling you about. Temperate springtails. First off, here's my starter colony that I bought off of Amazon? eBay? I don't know. eBay. Now, two other colonies have already been seeded from this. And they're doing great. I can keep in mind too, I just took a bunch out of those yesterday. So I've got a container. I've got a lid that I punched a couple holes into. Most people don't punch holes. I do. Because I find that I forget to um, open them and give them air. So that just gives them a little bit of ventilation. So I'm just pouring a little bit of just regular water. I have well water, so that's the only reason I'm using my water for my well. This is that charcoal that I just made that I showed you guys. This whole container was full. And uh, once it becomes charcoal, it's, you know, just charcoal. Like it's it's much, it's half the weight. It took, it took all the uh, liquid out of there. So what I'm going to do is just drop some chunks of charcoal in there. This is hardwood charcoal. Um, I don't think it really matters if you do hardwood or softwood charcoal, but I did hardwood. I think this was maple or something. So I'm just putting a bunch of that in there. And then I have a big bag of um, nutritional yeast. This is what I've been feeding my colonies of springtails. And I just take a pinch of that, sprinkle it all in there so they've got plenty of food to start out. And now I'll just open my colony. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take a piece of that charcoal out of there because I need to make leave room for the piece from here that I'm going to put in there. So, let's see. We'll dig down to the bottom here. We'll take this piece that's kind of crawling with springtails. We'll put them in there. We'll take one more piece that's kind of crawling with springtails. We'll put them in there. We'll uh, close that. Oh, that's the lid to this. This is the lid to this. Yeah. That's the lid to that. Close it off. And that is a temperate springtail colony. That's it. That's all you got to do. Um, since I've taken some out of these guys, I will... I think I'll seed the next couple colonies with some from my 
secondary colonies, which you can see are doing quite well. Now keep in mind, I have dumped a whole bunch. I dumped a bunch in, oh, that's this is a new project, that's Jararium. I dumped a bunch in that enclosed terrarium up there. I'm getting ready to dump a bunch. I dumped a bunch in with my ants, who are moving yet again. They must have moved back to the other side. And I'm going to dump a bunch in with my tarantulas. But, uh, that's how you call, uh, seed and grow temperate springtails. Uh, in a couple months, I'll have some colonies for sale if anybody's interested. For terrariums, vivariums, um, things like that. They also make decent feeders, I believe, for ants and small insects, stuff like that. All right, out.